network star Giada De Laurentiis has built herself an empire based on her home cooking and wholesome appearance. But not everything in her life is as wholesome as it looks. We did a little digging and found out that she's as messed up as the rest of us. Bon appétit! The Mysterious Dump Bucket With all of the food that she cooks on her show, we've often wondered how Giada De Laurentiis stays so petite. The answer's simple. She never actually eats any of the food that she cooks. According to a Page Six article from 2014, an unnamed source revealed that Giada chews the food for the cameras, then spits it out into a dump bucket. A representative for De Laurentiis has denied this, but it could simply prove the old adage, never trust a skinny chef. Mm. It's the perfect light indulgence on a weeknight hors d'oeuvre. It's a perfect weeknight hors d'oeuvre. Affairs? Soon after finalizing her divorce from fashion designer Todd Thompson in September 2015, De Laurentiis started stepping out with a new guy, TV producer Shane Farley. However, rumors and allegations surfaced that the two had actually started dating while Giada was still married to Thompson. Meanwhile, De Laurentiis has also been linked to other men in the past, guys like Matt Lauer, Bobby Flay, and John Mayer. She has denied rumors of all these affairs, especially the John Mayer one. Meanwhile, when De Laurentiis announced her relationship with Farley, her beau was actually still married. Seems like she went to take a bite before he was actually done. Cooking can make you rich. In addition to her television shows Everyday Italian, Giada at Home, and her appearances on The Next Food Network star, the mogul has authored numerous cookbooks, contributes to The Today Show, and has a range of cooking products available only through Target. How much money does all of this earn her? Well, her net worth ranges somewhere between 15 to 20 million dollars depending on the source. And it's a good thing she has all that money because… Her divorce cost a lot of dough. According to TMZ, she and her ex-husband never signed a prenuptial agreement, so Thompson gets half the money she earned from various book advances that are still in the works. Also, Thompson gets to keep their $3.2 million Pacific Palisades home, which contains $300,000 in furnishings and art, and $9,000 a month in child support, along with numerous other financial windfalls. Fortunately for her, she kept her brand, GDL Foods Inc., and doesn't have to pay spousal support. That settlement still might have been a bit hard for her to swallow. Maybe she had the dump bucket handy? She's afraid of navigating life post-divorce. In November 2015, De Laurentiis opened up to Dr. Oz's magazine, The Good Life, saying, quote, It was a very difficult time. I don't have the answers. I'm figuring them out as I go. I'm also afraid, like many other women who go through this, and men too, for that matter. End quote. Regardless of just how her split with Todd Thompson went down, that's definitely one sentiment that everyone can agree with. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know what surprised you the most about Giada Split.